in the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the mighty, mighty, mighty Angus Snub Number 7, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I want to make something very, very clear. And you can challenge me all day and all night. And when it's all said and done, you will be shown that there is no such thing as black racism. There's no such thing as a black racist. Don't exist. Because in order for there to be a black racist, you must have black supremacy. And black supremacy does not exist. Mind you, the potential is there. The potential for anything is there. But at this time, it does not exist. At this time, within black people, or even African people, dark people in general, there is no outcry. There is no longing for no black supremacy movement. It's not wanted. And without the people supporting that ideology or being conditioned in that manner, it cannot exist. So what I did in order to begin this uh, talking about this topic I did a quick Google search now mind you also I did not really get into the Google search but I just wanted to see what does the government what does the intellectual what are they saying about black racism there is no government statistics on black racism that I know of I don't see any because it don't exist what are the colleges and the universities? What are they? What are they talking about? Are they bringing up the subject of black racism? No, they're not talking about either. It does not exist. Just because a group of black people beat up or even murder a white person based on because the fact that they white or whatever race. That's not racism. Maybe a hate crime, because I hate you because you white, or you was Chinese, or you a homosexual, or whatever. That has nothing to do with race, racism, being a racist. These was individuals that committed a crime. No more, no less. A black person can hate you. Don't make him a racist. He can be prejudiced and biased in his own capacity. He can deny you a job as an individual. That's not racist. That's prejudice, bigotry. Hatred upon this one particular person. Exactly what is racism? Racism is the capacity or having the power. You don't want to hear it. But this is how it goes. Racism is having the power and the capacity to translate your bigotry, your hatred, your prejudice into laws, into customs, into policy, into religion in order to harass or make the other race inferior to you. Black people are not in that position. That's where you that's why in white supremacy you can have hatred for black people, bias, but the law will support you. So back in the day, you could hang a black man, lynch black people outright in the open. But the law, the government, supported bigotry 
and that hatred. When was the last time that you seen a white man be lynched, be murdered, and then the government ran, controlled by blacks, said that's a good thing. Where do you see where black people forced separation of the races? When was the last time you seen black people enslaving whites and made white people accept African names, taught the white people they were inferior to black, denied white people equal housing and jobs, and the law, laws had to be made in order for the, for, for the black to accept equal treatment to white. Y'all know. Stop being silly. Here's another perfect example. I was speaking with my assistant uh, minister last night. And a perfect example of this was when I was locked up in a mental institution. Their hatred and my hatred, two different things. Now, I got a certain amount of power. I could catch a doctor and punch him in the face. But see, not only can that doctor give the order to punch me in my face, he can have me locked down. He got the power to write me as a dangerous criminal, never to be let loose again. See, I can punch him in the face. I, can, I got the power to punch the doctor in the face. But that's it for me. In fact, my violence towards him makes my situation worse because he got more power and control. He can deny me the right to visit my family. He can deny me the right to go to the store. He can look at all the powers he got. He can force, try to force medication on me. The only thing I can do is get away with a slap. And, and anybody that has been labeled insane, you, that label is on you and it's on your record. You have that on you for the rest of your life. Is that a good label to have? Hell no. So what is my little slap? What is a beating by black individuals on white folks now and then? Because when they get caught, whose justice system are these black races are going to be under? Are they going to go to a, are they under black law? No, they're coming to white people. And what you going to do to them black races? You know what you're going to do to them. You're going to put them under the prison. You're going to give them pure hell as, as much hell as you can give them. If not, kill them. Look at the, look, I speak English. I'm a black man, can't speak no African tongue. You got all these black people here in this country don't know nothing about Africa at all. And they proud to carry on your European name. That's racism. That's the real racism. Your dictionary is corrupt. Everything that you write about being black in your dictionary because you hate dark is always something bad. And then you want us to accept your definition of what racism is. That's the same thing as saying that the court would accept the definition of what a rape is by a rapist. We would be fools and stupid to accept the definition of what racism is by the racists, the true racists. During my Google search, when I was trying to find out about black racism, the only thing I could find and kept popping up was what white people did to blacks. And then, for those of you who keep talking this black race, the only thing information I found about so-called black racism was y'all YouTube, y'all YouTube videos. It don't exist. So why are these white people, why are these Caucasians, first of all, they want to be seen as angels. You're not angels. You are the children of murderers. You are the children of people who enslave other people. You are
are the children of rapists. You are the children of deceivers, liars, and killers. That's who you are the children of. You try to paint yourself like you, like you are, like you come from good stock. You come from evil and wicked stock. And you continue your wickedness with this black racism garbage, trying to make the victim the perpetrator. So you have people like the Genocide Scrolls, Block them, Kilo 34, these Caucasian people that hide behind a picture on YouTube. What is their intent? Their intent is to try to cause fear among white people that the black might try to make a black supremacist move on them. Even though it's very clear, black people are not interested. There is no African country. There's, there's no group of black people. A nation. Racism is a people on a people. It's not an individual act. It is this group of people who call themselves white who are conditioned to be hateful and prejudiced and they are conditioned to believe they are better. And then when these darker people live within their society, they have laws, they have education, they have all these systems designed to keep them in an inferior position. There's no black nation, there's no country, there's not even a black neighborhood in America that's doing anything to white people like that. But you have neighborhoods in America right now to this day that don't want no blacks there. And you know it. And, the, and you got laws and you have customs and the people, white people have been conditioned. It's no big deal. Now for me, I don't want to be in your neighborhood anyway. But we're just saying, just for the sake of argument, this black racism don't exist. Bring your evidence here. Real evidence. It don't exist. You can scream, everybody can, you want every, now, you want, you want the black people to be racist. Well then, if you want me to be a racist, I want my white slaves. I want to, I want to, be placed in a position to discriminate against white people. I want to put y'all 70%, 80% in prison and jail, just like you do us. I want you to go to jail for longer periods of time for your powder cocaine and give two months in the slammer for crack cocaine. I want to be able to do what you have done to us. But you want to make us racist, but we don't get the benefit. If I want to be a black racist, then I want the damn benefits. Y'all so fake. The bottom line is, instead of calling people names and trying to make the victim, the perpetrator, you should try to straighten up this mess your forefathers created. Or, or you like your forefathers. Y'all like being on top. You like controlling things. You like your images on TV. Every time you turn on the TV, radio, news, in government, it's all that but you you really like that. That's why a lot of black people don't like you. Because you're arrogant like that. And that's why you can't be trusted. Because you have been conditioned to see us as nothing and nobody. Jot down your comments, my time is up. Could have went on a little longer, but this is sufficient. Because ain't nobody gonna come here and tell that lie. That black racism exists. Thank you for listening. This is your brother Tony Gibbon Rock. This was and is the Realities Temple on Earth.